so in this chapter we are going to discuss how to plan your study it's very very important to plan your study if you plan your study well you will do very well in your entire uh, studying course now what i use is uh, there is a productivity guru called tiago forte and uh, i have made a modified version of this for uh, indian medical students uh, but the system is known as para p stands for project a stands for action r stands for research and a stands for archive so this is known as the para system right so in the same way what we have done is we have we have modified this to make it into an onion technique that is layer by layer so when you plan something you have to have it at several layers we'll discuss what are these layers and we'll discuss how to plan your entire study system so first is the first layer you have to do is the project so you need to have you know either either you can write it on your computer or you can write it on a chart paper and stick it somewhere in your in your uh, house or where you're studying or in your library uh, the question you need to ask yourself is what am i studying for you know so you start anything to start reading something you need to know what is your target so are you studying to uh, make a presentation or are you studying to uh, you know write a review article or are you studying for an exam right are you studying for a theory exam are you studying for a practical exam you need to be very clear what you are studying for now it could also be that you are studying just for the fun of it or for for perhaps uh, you know uh, for learning something new which is perfectly fine so write it down i am studying this to learn more about uh, hypothyroidism right so it it could be something which which is you are doing it for your own satisfaction or i am studying for to learn more about uh, intermittent fasting so fine that's you that's your uh, goal okay the next question is the second question you need to answer is the action part which is how am i going to study right so as we as we discussed earlier if you are preparing for a multiple choice question you should use flash cards if you are preparing for a theory exam and we repeated this uh, point several times earlier if you are preparing for a theory exam make handwritten notes if you are preparing for a presentation make computer notes or audio notes if you are preparing for a uh, viva or question and answer uh, you know you need to have a q and a format notes if you are preparing for a clinical exam you have handwritten case history with questions in between or with flash cards okay the third layer comes the research part now before you begin you should know where you are going to read that from right it should be very clear where you are read going to read a particular section or a chapter from okay so collect your sources first so it should not be that when you are studying you waste your time in between your studying process to look for uh, you know uh, uh, the source for studying no right you, you first collect the source so you can you can you know let's say you are reading a chapter on hypothyroidism you want to read it from harrison's or you want to read it from davidson's or you want to read it from up to date or from kumar or clark or whatever whatever source you want to read it from whatever chapter or if you have a review article whatever collect that keep it ready okay so uh, whatever your source of information is it could be your notes it could be your notes it could be my notes it could be somebody else's notes you are reading from it could be a lecture you are trying to listening to you are try to, trying to listen to that is all fine right so collect the information and keep it then you start the studying process so when you are starting the studying process you need to do two things one is make a to do list every day to plan what you are going to study in that day and second is we use the pomodoro technique we'll discuss this earlier basically you need to study in short bursts of 25 minutes with 5 minutes gap right we'll discuss this in a minute so how to plan your day how to use a to do list so what you do is you can you can have a handwritten one in a diary or you can you can use a, a computer software like to do list or a microsoft to do and so on right uh, google keep any of these apps can be used so make a list of what you are going to study specifics right uh detail things so for example if you are going to study hypothyroidism you'll you'll write that you know i'm going to study about uh the pathophysiology the etiology of hypothyroidism i'm going to study about treatment of hypothyroidism so you make a list of everything uh then you use a color coding technique okay so red color would be for topics which you find very difficult which are most difficult to understand you know uh, and these are the ones you should tackle early in the morning or uh, you know as early as possible because in the earlier in the day because you know if you tackle this the rest of the day it becomes better if you leave it for the evening or something you would generally procrastinate and avoid it uh, yellow color would be for your routine grinding stuff right if for example you are you as such understand treatment of hypothyroidism but you never read it from harrison so you you know want to complete the list so it's a routine grinding stuff 
green color is something which is your favorite topic or you're basically just revising right so let's say uh, you know interpretation of thyroid function test is something you're very you are an expert of it but because it is there in the textbook you are still reading it uh, so make it as a green color and you can just breeze through that you can quickly go through that because you are very very much an expert in that already okay so this is how you make a list so make a list right uh, use the color code and tackle the uh, red ones first then the yellow ones and the green ones later okay then the second important uh, tip I'd like to give you is to use the Pomodoro technique, right? So when you study, study in 25 minute chunks with five minutes breaks, or you can do 45 minute chunks with 15 minutes break. This is very important because your brain's attention span is limited. Uh, you know, I used to do 45 plus 15 minutes. I, I had that attention span for 45 minutes. So I used to do that, but I, I would say, you know, uh, depending on your attention span, you should do whatever it works for you. Right? But always do this. You should have this. Never study in long intervals of two hours, three hours. You know, your, in your uh, mental capacity, uh, your you know, attention goes down and then you are not able to concentrate. Okay, the fifth layer, which is, the, which is a very important layer, is that at the end of the day, when you are sitting, when you have done your study in the night before you go to sleep, use just 15 minutes to reflect on what you learned. Right? So you use a simple, simple blank paper. Uh, you can write just in your own words whatever you learn, right? Whatever you learn, whatever you understood, uh, or you can use an audio to record it, right? You can make a video of it, whatever you like to do it. Just spend 15 minutes at the end of the day to reflect whatever you learn and try to use your own words, right? Don't refer textbooks now, right? Keep the textbooks aside, you know, keep, keep your notes aside, everything. Just use your memory to reflect everything that you learned and write it in, in your own words, right? Whatever you learn. Finally, and then in the same, once you've done the reflection part, uh, plan the next day, right? So when you've done your reflection, you understand what you understood, what you did not understand, what you found difficult, right? So again, you know, for the next day, or you left something behind, right? So today you are supposed to study something, you, you uh, could not complete it. So you pass it on to the next day, right? And then again, you do your color coding and then take it all forward, right? So it's always very important to plan your day one day ahead instead of, you know, uh, waiting for that day. Okay, so this is how you uh, do your planning of the study. So to summarize, in the morning time or in the uh, early time you do, first write what you are studying for, how, are, how you are going to study, collect all your information, do your research, then do the actual, actual study, right? Uh, in the evening, do the reflection and then plan your next day ahead. So thank you for a patient listening.